Hey everybody, Mental Fox here. Welcome back to my playthrough of Starfield. We're looking for some lithium. Because we need to gather some uh, supplies here, some resources. We need four more lithium. We found everything else we need. We just need four more lithium. Dealing with some help. I went online to see where lithium was and I feel like I got conflicting information. Um, one place said that um, Jemison Mercantile sells it, but we already checked there. But I mean, I guess what one thing we could do is wait 24 hours and then try again. Uh, but I'm over encumbered, and I don't want to be walking around with all, all this ears. stuff on me. So yeah, so let's make sure we. So I'm gonna give him um, all this iron I'm carrying. That'll, that'll free up a lot of space for us. Yeah, so he has the iron. That's fine. Okay, then. He can handle that. So what I was thinking, I want to go to the mercantile. But like I said, in the last episode, we did check the mercantile. And um, they they didn't have any lithium. But this webpage I looked at said that if you wait 24 hours, maybe they'll get it in stock. So we're going to try that, but rather than just like stand out here, like sleep on a park bench or something, let's go to our penthouse apartment. We haven't been there in a little while. Let's go to our apartment. We'll get a good, good night's sleep. Hang out in the apartment for a bit. That's pretty neat. Uh, Mercury Towers is right over here. We live way up there. It's Mercury Tower, not Towers. I wish I could explore more of this place. I wish I could explore more of every place. But, nope. Oh man, our door's standing wide open. What the heck, man? It's probably Barrett who left the door open. Okay, so it is currently... 8.30 local time. So... If you want to sleep... For 24... Local hours, I guess? Let's do it. The whole, the whole shebang. 50 hours universal time. <laughs> 24 local hours. Oops, sorry, I hit, hit my microphone there. Um, yeah, 24 local hours... And I, I'm going to pretend like we're actually not sleeping for 24 hours. We're just hanging out in our apartment. We're allowed to have a little bit of downtime every once in a while, right? I mean, can't be out running around all the time. So we decided to take a day off. We came back. We got a good night's sleep. Hanging out in our apartment. Don't ask me what we're doing because we don't even have a TV here. Don't have a bookcase. Don't have anything. But... Um, Maybe we're just relaxing, sitting on our balcony, enjoying the view. Oh, okay. Hey. I hope you slept well. You seem pretty exhausted. Yeah. So I did sleep well, thank you. So I could shut the door, <laughs> but Barrett's gonna open it anyway. Let's see. Maybe I could hurry up. Oh, he opened it. Dog on it. I wanted to go down the elevator before he opened the door, but he opened it. All right, so we're gonna walk. Wait a minute. If that was 24 hours, why is it nighttime now? What? Now it's okay. I guess. I guess. I guess there's more than 24 hours on this planet. I guess. I guess. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just hope it's the next day. Yeah, because this doesn't tell you what day it is. But we'll go over back to the mercantile and we'll see if they have any lithium. And if they don't, well, then I'm going to have to go online and see if I can't find a place that sells it because we need the lithium to complete this, uh, this mission here. And I'd like to go ahead and complete it. I'm super curious to see what's going to happen. I mean, well... Well, the, you know, will we, when we go back to Paradiso, will we meet the colonists there? Will they be there? I don't know. 
Uh, I'm going the wrong way. I want to go over here. Here's the here's the mercantile. Hello. If it belongs on your ship, then I'm sure we have it for sale. Oh uh, yeah. Let's see. Oh, please take a look. Resources. Ooh, she has 61 resources now. No lithium. Okay, great. Here we go. All right. This is Appreciate not it, what I wanted to have happen. All right, we're going to bring up our map. We're going to go star map and a web page that I looked at said that uh, Crix has um, lithium. Uh, but this is this is flimp, flimpson <laughs> crimson fleet place and um i guess we're man have i been to crix before maybe i haven't and you know what they do not seem too worried at all about me being um the uh, freaking mantis at all Man, we may have just gotten ourselves into some serious trouble here. I should not have come here. Look how many of them there are. Boy, there's a lot of them here. Oh, great. Okay. Well, the shields are offline. We're we're pretty much dead. Um, yeah, I was not expecting this to happen at all. <sighs> all right. Can I leave? I don't think I can. Grab jump is offline. I don't think I could leave. We're stuck. We're stuck, yeah. Okay, well, we're dead. All right, whatever. <sighs> All right. I shouldn't have gone there. That's just a place I remember seeing where they sell it. <sighs> All right. This is, uh... I did not want this to take a long time. I was hoping that I could just easily find a place. Alright, I'm gonna go online and see if I gotta find a place that sells lithium. Hold on. Okay. Instead, we're going to go to Aquila City. Here up at Cheyenne. Okay, go here. Go to the city. Let's land there. And there's a place called Midtown Minerals, apparently, that sells it. I'll just have to figure out how to get to Midtown, since there's no freaking maps in this game. I visited Aquila City once to consult with them about the local wildlife. Options were pretty dire at the time. He always wanted to return to help. Oh, no. Okay. If you're going to talk to me, come with me, dude. All right, so we're looking for Midtown. Which I don't know. Oh, uh, hey there. Where mid Okay, Midtown is this way. It's nice. There's a sign there helping a little bit. It's like a quaint town, but it's got problems as big as any other city. Uh-huh. Let's see here. Midtown. Are there any other signs? Who designed this place? It's just so random. Uh, I see a sign up here. What does this sign say? This sign says... The core. Okay. Oh, right. The rock. Uh-huh. Sam told me there's a good bar around here. Uh, I don't see any signs up here. This... Uh, House of the Enlightened there. Okay, well, not seeing any signs telling me where to go. Yeah, the signage here is terrible. Oh, that's cool. Look at that. I didn't notice that when we were here before. Still no signs. I feel like I'm in the middle of anything anymore. 
Once we head through those gates, Ashton will start hunting us down pretty fast, so beware. Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. Oh, good grief. Give me a freaking sign. Tell me where to go. Okay. All right. There's <laughs> Give me nothing, man. Um, the core is this way. Midtown. Oh, there's a sign there, and it says Midtown. Okay. All right. So what I want is some place with minerals in its name. Stone Root Inn. Workshop. Okay, now I don't feel like I'm in Midtown anymore. East Gate, the core, the stretch. Okay, where's... Where's this what Midtown Minerals? Be in the way we the <laughs> this place is so confusing. Okay, well, just... Sign for the stretch. I don't think this will help. Business directory. Midtown Minerals. Well, it says, yeah. Here's some of the businesses you'll find. Midtown Minerals. It's in Midtown, in case you didn't know. Oh, thanks. Thanks a lot. Thanks for absolutely nothing. For sale. Oh, well, maybe this house is for sale. The stretch apartment. Okay. We don't have the key. All right, so that's the place that's for sale. That's kind of cool. <sighs> okay, somebody's got a little cot here. Pretty neat. I mean, the view here is pretty cool. I'll give it that. So this is Midtown. Where the heck... Rock employee residence. Okay. Not, uh, not finding anything up here. This is fun. Isn't this fun? Sure would be nice if there was a freaking map in this game. So that's the bookstore. This is an inn. I mean, it's, Midtown's not very big. <laughs> Where the heck is this place, man? Ah, good grief. Now I'm back at this employee residence thing again. I don't know where it is. It says it's in Midtown. It's even called Midtown Minerals. All right. Yeah. Okie dokie. Everything good? We're here to help. Community center. Employee residence again. Hmm, okay then. This is, uh, this is great. What's this place? Is, it, is this a place? Robots are a force amplifier for you sell stuff? You no, nope, you don't. Process. Get out of my way, Barrett. Get out of my way, dude. We'll all be better with it all. Okay! St. Clair's books. Okay, well, I am not finding this place. No, sir, I'm not. Ah, good gravy. All right, let me go online and see if I can figure out where this place is. <laughs> Holy crap, I finally found it. This place is not in Midtown. It's, and I did walk right by it before. This, this place is not in Midtown. It took me a very long time to find this place. Anyway, we're here. 
Let's go in. See if I can't buy some freaking lithium and get this freaking thing over with. Uh, customer. Might customer. Clear the stretch. Lots of crime over there. Uh huh. You better have lithium, lady. Midtown Minerals is a glass to me. Uh huh. Welcome to the best mineral dealer in town. I need to pick up some minerals. Excellent. Okay, she's got resources. And she does indeed sell lithium. We need four lithiums. That's all we need. There we go. We got it. And then I also have iron, so we're good. All right. Barrett. Oh, pardon me. Um, Is that your stomach or mine? Looking for something? Yeah, give me that iron back. And then I'm going to give him something so that I'm not over encumbered. I'm going to give him one of these weapons. Sort by weight. We'll give him... Heck, I would give him all my weapons. There. Now I'm not over encumbered anymore. Okay, now we need to go back up to the ship. I tell you, man. <laughs> I had to keep looking at a map to figure out where that freaking place was. I kept seeing that it was... Well, I saw that it was across from Chunks. But, I mean, it kind of is, but the entrance is over here. Anyway, I found it. It's finally here. Uh, let's bring up our quest list and go here. And we're going to set course. And we're going to jump. We're just going to like... <sighs> he has something for us. Wonderful. All right. Let's, um, dock with this thing. Is this where we're supposed to go, actually, though? So let's talk to Brackenridge. Yeah. Like and love. Let's board. I have something for you. <laughs> Barrett, I don't want it. Okay, Captain. All right, let's see if we can find the captain. Because it says, I have enough resources now. I should return to Captain Brackeridge and let her know we're ready to send people down to Paradiso. I've heard about you, but there you are. There I am. Now that we know what's out there. Not that way. Hello. No matter, now that you're here, I can finally give my crew a chance at a new life. No, oh, it's going to be a new life, all right. I have all the resources Oliver asked for. Excellent. I'll have them stowed away for safekeeping. We'll bring them with us when we touch down on the surface. Is that everything now? Are we ready to head planet side? Uh, let's see. It's going to be a big change. Are you sure you're ready for this? Some of us may have a little trepidation about leaving the ship, but the majority of us are excited. This has been our dream for generations. This generation was not expected to be here by now, but thanks to you, eh? We shaved decades off our journey. This is the chance to live on solid ground, have freedom to walk about, breathe fresh air. We've never had that experience. Oh, we're ready. Well, I guess that's it. It's time to go. Oh. Righto. Oh, this is truly wonderful. I'll make an announcement to the crew straight away. If you would be so kind, we lost our landing shuttle years ago, so we'll need a ride down to the surface. Not all of us, mind you, just myself and a select few others. Will you do this for us? Uh, let's see. Not right now. I need to take care of something first. How will the rest of you get down? I'd rather not, but if I have to, or sure I can do that. Um, yeah, how will the rest of you get down? I'm not worried. I'm confident we'll be able to hire a shuttle to ferry us back and forth until we're all there. Sure, it may increase the debt we owe those people, but it will be worth it. Okay, well then, I guess I can do that. Splendid. Oh, we'll see you on your ship then. Okay, now we need to ferry the colonists down to Paradiso. Now that we have the resources, 
Oliver Campbell asked for, it's time to ferry Captain Brackenridge and some of her crew down to Paradiso. Let's do that. What if we talk to her again? I did it. Nothing. How exciting it is to be the captain who finally brought us to our new home. That's pretty exciting. Why do you look so sad? Looks like she's going to cry. Safe travels to you. Safe travels. Okay. All right. Let's, um... Okay, let's go get on our ship. Is she going to come with us? Yeah, here she comes. The Constant is a peaceful ship. Don't change it. Kind of a strangely designed ship, I think. I get lost every time I come here, but I think I I think I made it back this time. Yeah. Is she is she following us? Bear it is. We've got strict rules around here. Oh oh, I guess Doctor Mabuti's coming too. Okay cool. All right no 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 don't 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 run away no come back. Why did you turn around? Oh is he really gonna get on our ship? Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take He's excited. Look at him running. Notice his wife isn't with him. Look at him go. Poof. Okay. Is she coming? I think I scared her away. She is she had second thoughts. All right. Well, whatever. Just stay out of trouble. Just stay out of trouble. I'll do what I want. Hi. Please disregard. Come aboard. Find your seats. Stow your belongings. Okay, so, um... I'm excited to move to our new home. A little worried, but excited. Howdy, Skipper. Colonist. Colonist. Wow. I feel honored to be among the first to step foot in our new home. Okay. Are you the one who helped us? I can't thank you enough. Okay. This will be new for all of us, but I am not worried. This Indeed. is incredible. It's thanks to you that we never thought we'd make it. Sir. But we well. will be together in Paradiso soon enough. Yeah. The pleasure was mine. Anyone else nervous about this? Just me. Do we have enough space for all these people? Shouldn't they be buckled in? Thank you again for making this all possible. You uh, lifting some weights there, Captain? I'm looking forward to making this planet our new home. The possibilities are limitless. <laughs> Don't forget to tell of us in your travels. I mean, this is kind of cool. I did not believe in my life. Uh, why is something point? Oh, okay. We still have the the, the possibility the option of overloading the reactor. Obviously, we're not going to do that. Okay. So, we're supposed to ferry them down. Oh, dude. Get out of my way. I'm listening. That's pretty neat. Don't think I saw that view before. Yeah, man. So, are these colonists going to be like employees at Paradiso, and then when we visit Paradiso, we'll run into them and they'll talk about how miserable they are? Okay, so where's the planet? It is over there. No, not the constant. Get away from the constant. There's the planet, open planet map, Paradiso, let's land, let's see what happens. Irvin would have loved to work on a planet with this kind of life. All right, follow the colonists off the ship. Um. There they are. We're just supposed to follow them? Yeah. Okay. Follow the colonists. 
That sounds like fun. What do you guys think? Oh, I can't walk over there. Okay, I'll go around. Speak with the captain. Okay. Hey, Cap, what's up? I did it. How exciting it is to be the captain who finally brought us to our new home. Mm hmm. So, is uh, Paradiso everything you hoped for? Oh, my. Oh, it's almost too much. I've never seen such beauty, never experienced real nature. Pictures, videos, nothing does the real thing justice. I could do without some of the terms of this agreement, <laughs> but if this is what it's like, I think we'll manage just fine. Thanks again. It's hard to imagine what it would be like, though. I mean, you, you've lived your entire life on a, uh, on a ship, and then all of a sudden, you walk out and see this. I think it would... Uh, it's, it's impossible to fathom what that would be like, really. You'd have a bit of agoraphobia. You know, you'd freak out with, like, all the space. I guess we're still supposed to talk to her. Speak with her again. Okay, let's talk to her again. Thank you again for making this all possible. Sure, sure, sure. I'm looking forward to making this planet our new home. The possibilities are limitless. Well, I think that's it. You're finally home. Just think. If you hadn't had the courage to approach us when no one else would, we we might still be stuck up there. Yeah. Uh, what do you think's going to happen to the constant? I'm not sure yet. For now, it will stay in orbit, but it's possible we may need to dismantle or destroy it. Of course, it would be quite a shame to destroy such an important piece of human history. So I suppose it would do to seek an interesting mm -hmm. party and donate it for historical purposes. Yeah, somebody in the, in, in my comments uh, said that maybe they should make it like a museum. You know, charge admission. They could make money that way. I think it's a great idea. So what's next for you and the crew of the Constance? First, we need to meet with the settlement's leadership and confirm the details of our arrangement. Once we take care of that business, we'll begin the process of shuttling the rest of our people down and resettling them. I'm confident that with a few adjustments, we'll be able to assimilate into society, and once we pay off our debts, we'll travel wherever we want. Yeah, I think you're going to um, be paying off debts for a long time. And speaking of debts, um, you know, you kind of owe me something. Let's discuss payment now. Uh, I see. <laughs> It's not enough to just help people who have nearly nothing. It's about enriching yourself, then. Mm -hmm. Well, I must say I'm disappointed. I can't say I'm surprised. We've learned a lot about the sort of greed that dominated societies of old. Anyway, we don't have much to pay you with, but perhaps we can arrange for something. Good day. You can't just walk away from me without arranging something first. She gave me a weapon, some ammo, <laughs> and a couple earth baseballs, an antique piggy bank, some earth soccer balls, <laughs> earth basketballs. So she gives a bunch of junk. We deserve it. <laughs> Three antique earth hockey sticks. And now I'm over encumbered because of all this garbage she just gave us. That's pretty funny. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Yep. We, uh, you know, made it quite plain that that's, that's my character. He wants to get paid. Hey, Captain. Need, not a yeah, problem. I need you to carry all these hockey sticks for me. They're sticking out of my pocket. So, let's see here. We've got just a bunch of miscellaneous crap here. Take these baseballs, this basketball. I mean, I guess they're not thinking they're going to be playing any sports here on this planet right no worries well I guess they're just gonna hang out here I was actually hoping that I could like I follow them is my position now but we will be together in Paradiso soon enough mm -hmm. thank you again for making this all possible 
I heard I'm about the deal we had to make. I'm sure home. that we made the right the choice. The possibilities are limitless. So how's your crew holding up? They're adjusting to their new lives. I know it wasn't the perfect solution, but I'm confident it was the right solution. On a positive note, it's good to know that we aren't alone if something were to go wrong. And while our current accommodations may not be great, <laughs> we didn't have to build everything from scratch and live like ancient humans, so that's nice. Okay. So what happens now that you're finally settled? A lot remains to be seen. For now, my people still treat me as the captain, and I help them as needed. But that will only last for so long, as I no longer have authority over them. As for the ship itself, it will likely be hauled away at some point, if it hasn't already. I heard rumblings hmm. that may be turned into a museum of some sort. Now you're talking. Okay. Until next time. Until next time. So, um, let's... I don't know, what do we have to do? Can we just, like... Like, go... Like, out into space and then come back and then there'll be um you know it's assimilated I just want to see what it what it's like let's just jump here and then jump hey, back you might want this I don't I don't want it I do not want it oh bounty hunters yay I'm gonna ignore you Okay, bounty hunter captain. So they're not afraid of the mantis. Am I still locked onto this guy? You took out the jump drive. Target's jump system down. Their drive drives down. Gosh, she's still got a lot of. Gosh, she's tearing the crap out of my hole, man. They've lost grab jump capability. They've lost grab jump capability. Tell you what, he's taking a beating. We've taken out their shields. Crap, he's beating up on me again. Okay, he's dead. The problem is there's another one here. I gotta take out now. My shields are offline. Come on, lock. Sounds so excited. Okay, he's dead. All right, took care of those jerks. Uh, where's the goodies? I want some goodies. No, that's Cheyenne. Captain, our grab drive is fully repaired. Um, no, I don't want Cheyenne. I want uh, the stuff they dropped. Where is it? Maybe I get some ship parts. No. Oh, whoops, that's not the right button. Okay, we took that stuff. Boom! And then, uh, I'll go up here to this one. Get close enough to it to loot it. Oh, good, ship parts. Okay. All right. Now we'll bring our map back up. And we're going to go right back. Oh, so there we go. Parima. I want to go back here because I want to see if we could run into the colonists now that they're assimilated. That's what I want to do. Probably won't have anything new to say to her because we already talked to her. She already said the things that she would say after living there for a while, but 
we used to wonder if life was unique to our world. Not only is it not, but it seems to take every opportunity to emerge. Mm -hmm. All right, let's walk over here. Check it out. Let's see if we run into anybody. Maybe we'll need to go to the the staff quarters. Maybe we'll see them all hanging around there. Maybe we'll see some of them with a job. I don't know. I'm on vacation because I don't want to be bothered by anyone. Get it? Oh, I get it. Paradiso security is only here for your safety. Pretend we're not even here. I'm just glad I got to keep my job. Some of the other crew were reassigned. Oh, she's she's ECS Constant Security. Okay. Hey. Uh, thanks for getting us out of that ship. Colonists, tourists, doesn't matter who I'm protecting. Works work. Okay, that's fair. Ah, that sand in my shoes again. Oh, I mean, hi. Sorry. Hotel greeter. Hi there. Oh. Hello, welcome to Hotel Paradiso. You may continue inside to the main desk if you need to check in for your stay, or feel free to browse the shops along the promenade. Let me know if I can answer any questions you may have, or help you in any other way. Hmm, I don't remember running into her. Uh, just, I already know the answer to this, but where do I find Oliver Campbell? If you have business with Oliver, you'll first need to speak with Kiwi, the board's executive assistant. You'll find them if you take the elevator up to the top floor and go down the hallway. Okay. Who do I see about booking a room? For that, you'll want to head inside, go to the main desk, and speak with Dirk. He'll be more than happy to guide you through the check-in process. Okay. So what is this place? Some sort of resort? Ah, oh, this is your first time here. That's exactly what it is. Paradiso prides itself on being the fanciest, most relaxing resort getaway in the galaxy. People from all over come here to bask in the sun, enjoy the all-natural beaches, explore, enjoy the local wildlife, and generally get pampered. Okay. What if I just want to use the beach? Unfortunately, the beach is reserved for hotel guests only, and that goes for the entire planet's beaches. <laughs> the entire planet. The Paradiso Group owns all land on Parima 2, so you must either be a resort guest or have prior authorization for any public or private beach use. But, and you didn't hear this from me, security rarely has the bandwidth to patrol outside the main resort. Okay, good to know. Take care. Okay. Yeah, somehow missed her before. So here's another going to care if I call constant person. Work for another week, right? Hey, you helped us out in the constant, right? Oh, okay. I hope I can make your stay here enjoyable. Okay, so he's just staff, so it's going to be hard to tell who were constant people. I'll be honest, I had no idea what a vacation even was while I was on the constant, so this new job is a little strange for me. Yeah, I bet. Paradiso sure beats across the old spaceship, even if I have to work here. Mm. If there's anything we can do to make your stay more enjoyable, it's the least we can do to thank you for what you did for us. Mm-hmm. Oh, this is even better than in the brochure. Do you have anything new to say to me, Dirk? How may I assist you? Surely I can do something nope. for you? Let me know if there's anything else you need. I guess uh, we don't have our room anymore because we waited so long. Oh, what about this guy over here? Did he finally make us coffee? R &R, huh? Hey, you. Hello. Anything I can get for you? No. Have a great day. All right. Oh, night. Sorry. I lose track of my time. Well, um, I don't see any other constant people here. Keeping track oh, it's, supplies is more it's Daisuke. He got a job here. We've had to do our fair share of recycling on the constant. Not exactly a lot of places to get new goods. Uh-huh. Do you get a lot of customers? I get enough. The resort guests sometimes need things they forgot at home or souvenirs. Sometimes they just like to shop, I guess. Okay. Where do you get your supplies these days? The resort provides most of it. I sell some of my own stuff on the side, but the resort takes those profits to pay down my debt. They allow me to finance my own goods. Some of which I get from off-world, and some of which I get from trading with guests. Okay. I'm curious to know what you have for sale here. I've got some stock coming in from elsewhere, and some stuff I bought from resort guests. Okay. So he's got some dumb old regular weapons. 
Oh, he's got ammo. I should probably just buy all ammo every time I see it. I say that all the time. But it's so expensive. But it doesn't weigh anything either. I guess I need to decide on like what weapons I really want to keep and use. I've been using shotguns a little bit. See you around. You have anything you want to say? We've got stuff. If you need stuff. Seems you have a new co-worker now, huh? Who? Oops. Oh, yeah, that guy. Uh... It's Daisuke. Still Daisuke. Same as it was last time you forgot. <laughs> right, that's it, yeah. <laughs> He's okay. You wouldn't believe the kind of things I have to keep teaching him, though. It's weird. <laughs> well, things were a lot different on board our colony ship. Like, we didn't really use money. See what I mean? Hmm, so weird. There you go. There you go. Okay, well this is cool. We're getting a little look at what life is like for these people now. Let's see uh, if, what's, if anybody's up on the fifth floor. Something for you. Let's see here. These are guests. Security. Enjoy your stay knowing you're in our capable hands. I'm here to satisfy your needs. I hope your stay is a pleasant one. Get no some. major incidents in a while. These people were in here before, I think. These are just guests. Everything here is a little more expensive than what I expected. Guess that's how they get you. This place is weird to me. This long hallway with rooms I can't go in. And only Paradise Hotel room key can open that. I want to go in there, dog on it. I want to check it out. You have to pickpocket somebody, I guess. Don't worry about us. We're just here to keep the peace. Okay. Well, nobody on this floor. Let's try the next one. To the executive floor. Let's see if the captain is here. Is captain on the executive floor, maybe? Let's see. What are you doing? It's my pleasure to make sure our guests are happy. Hey, what's up, Kiwi? I've got a lot on my plate right now, but I'm happy to help if you need it. If the Paradiso board is busy in a mm. meeting, you can always count on me to relay your message. Okay, nothing new there. Next time. We've got some new people from the colony ship working with us. Security's pretty much the same no matter where you're from, I guess. Okay. So no captain in here, huh? Just doing my part to make sure Paradiso remains a paradise. Oliver. I didn't realize Kiwi was letting people in here. <laughs> we'll make some time for you, but keep it quick, yeah? So did we do the right thing with the ECS constant? Not sure yet. Earnings reports haven't come in. But we did let much of our staff go. Oh, and gosh. the colonists are now working to pay off their debt, so I imagine we'll be saving loads of credits. Good on you for negotiating that deal for us. Oh man, that's terrible. <laughs> a lot of people lost their jobs. Oh, no. Enjoy Paradiso. Oh, good gravy. I actually feel kind of mm. bad about the deal we gave those colonists. Was it the right thing to do? Uh, probably not. What's not to love about this planet? If it's not important, bring with it a up name with like Kiwi. Paradiso, the marketing for this place writes itself. Unless you're here to talk business, I'm afraid I can't spare much time. I'm proud to say that revenue is up and costs are down. Mm hmm. This is a boardroom, not a singles mixer or okay. whatever you're looking for. Wow, I wonder where the captain is. I'm super curious. If you've heard about us elsewhere, chances are it's because of me. All right, we'll try another floor. Uh, the deluxe penthouse suite. That's, I think our room is the only thing that's on this floor. Well, it's not our room anymore. Because, um, it's been more than 24 hours. Maybe, let's see who's on the terrace. I mean, where's Mabuti? Right? Where's the doctor? Not to be a downer, but this place is almost too perfect. Right? Bonsoir. Okay, nothing new here. 
I don't see any employees up here, just a bunch of guests. Until I spoke with that lady at Enhance here. Are you a guest? I guess I have yeah, to you're a guest. This resort isn't as bad as I thought it'd be. I heard the rumor. There was some ancient college. Just a regular old staff person. Huh, okay. It may be paradise, but that doesn't mean we don't run into trouble. Yeah, I think we're going to have to go over to that staff area. And see if, uh... Did we see anybody? Whoa, we're a long way up here, man. Oh <laughs> gosh, look at this. Uh, I'm trying to see if I could see the staff quarters. I'm trying to remember where it was. It's a beautiful time of night. There, there's a the staff quarters over there. Alright, let's go. We're gonna fly down there. Oh look, the sun going down over there. Look at that. Wow, that's really nicely done. Look at that. Cool. I'm gonna hit F5 in case I screw this up. Alright, I'll see you down there, Barrett. Holy cow, that's a long way down. Whee! Alright. <laughs> How fun is that? <laughs> Who's this? Janet Yang. Well, look who it is. Oh the no. Who helped us out of our situation, leaving us stuck on this planet oh, God, look at her eyes. with unbearable debt. Yeah, I mean, I understand. Sorry, I don't mean to be ungrateful or rude. I know it's not your fault. You were just trying to help. It's me. I'm just frustrated. No, I don't blame you one bit. Um, what's it like living on a resort planet? You'd think it'd be pretty great. But in reality, it's only marginally better than living on a colony ship. Sure, we have fresh air and access to a lot of the amenities here, but mm. we're basically indentured servants. We can't leave. Everything here costs money, so anytime we want to do something to make us forget this hell for a minute, we go deeper into debt. It sucks. Yeah. Well, what do you do here at the resort now? Ugh, nothing. Yet. There's been some talk of me doing something in the kitchens, though, and I am not looking forward to it. Hmm. Well, you don't seem very happy with your new life here. Oh, you think? <laughs> Working for some sort of leisure resort, or whatever this is. So maybe one day we can be free to do as we please? I've got half a mind to stow away on the next luxury liner out of here. Because this is not the life I was promised. I mean, honestly, I would consider that too. Uh, why not take the risk and do it anyway? Or I guess I'll leave you alone then. Or maybe I can convince Oliver Campbell to forgive your debt or something like that? Uh, her eyes are freaking me out. I mean, um, I don't know. I feel bad. Maybe, maybe, maybe I could convince Oliver to forgive your debt. I doubt it. But what the hell? It's worth a shot. Maybe you're an expert negotiator. Maybe he listened to an outside opinion. I know he won't listen to us, at least. But look, if you do it, not only will I be surprised, I'll be very grateful. Thanks for even offering. Hmm. Okay, so we have an activity to try to get her debt. F That's funny. It said it's. Oh, it's actually a mission too. Oh, okay, the activity was to talk to Janet, and we did that. So we actually have a mission now. Debt forgiveness. Janet Yang hates her situation, working off her debt for the Paradiso Group. I'm going to try to help her by negotiating with their CEO Oliver Campbell to forgive her debt and let her go. Yeah, I'm going to say that maybe our character might, you know, be a little attracted to old Janet there. She's an attractive woman. So maybe he's, um, simping a little bit there. Oh, look, it's Mabuti. Whew, I don't know how I'm going to do it. Oh, no, this is Abe, this not Mabuti. This would be so much easier for someone with a connection to the outside universe. Huh? So we got a, we got a new activity... 
to uh, speak with Abe. And here's Abe, so let's talk to him. If you ever need a friendly ear to listen and not judge, you know where to find me. So what do you do for the resort? I'm still new to it, but I've been learning what the concierge does, and it's remarkably similar to what I'd been doing on board the Constant. Mostly, I've been assisting the concierge, Dirk, but I haven't officially started yet. I'm going to take some time off to enjoy our new home with my husband. I also still try to take care of our people. I plan activities for the kids and adults alike. We still have our regular media nights where Julia shows us old movies, plays music, and exposes us to other Earth media. I see. It sounds like you need help with something? Oh, you heard? Uh, I was just quetching to myself. Mostly I just need to find someone with a ship, but hey, you're someone with a ship, aren't you? Uh, let's see, I am. Just tell me what you need, or I do have a ship, but I'm not taking jobs right now, sorry. No, man, what do you need? I'll save you the spiel, but ever since we found out that people exist out there, the crew's been asking me if we could track down possible oh, wow. relatives. Neat. I made the mistake of looking some up, and now they want to connect with them. Now, I'm not going to ask you to schlep anyone back and forth, but could you deliver these messages for us to connect our crew with their relatives? <laughs> you want me to ambush people with news of lost relatives? No thanks. I can do it, but I'll need compensation, or I'll do it. Just tell me where to go and who to find. I mean... <laughs> I don't know if enough has happened to uh, change my character enough so that he's not going to ask for compensation. So he's going to ask for compensation. Of course, yes, of course. Well, as you know, we don't have much, but I'll find something for you. Let me get you the letter and the information you'll need to track down the relative. Hmm, okay. Message from a relative added. Okay, interesting. And that is now a new mission. Huh. Okay, deliver message to Nikita Garcia. Wow. Family reunion. Abe Levitz has asked me to find one of his crew members' relatives and deliver a message letting them know they'd like to meet with them. Okay. Huh. Well, I must say I was not expecting this at all. I thought for sure we would come back here and we would run into some random people and they would say some generic stuff about what life is like here, and then we move on. Speaking of moving on, where are you going? Oh, but then uh, we'd move on. But no, instead, these people are living here and we're learning a little bit about their lives and they're asking us to do stuff for them. So I think that's actually kind of cool. So <laughs> our uh, work with the people of the UCS Constant is not complete. And there's still more of them left uh, for us to talk to here. We'll find the captain uh, hopefully in the next episode. And we'll f try to find the doctor in the next episode. And we'll see uh, how they're doing. So more interaction with the UCS Constant people coming up in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for joining me in this episode. I hope you had a good time. If you did, why don't you let me know. Let me a like or a comment. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.